Imagine this. Somewhere over a darkened battlefield, a giant aircraft slices through the night sky. Below, soldiers wait, hungry, low on ammunition, desperate for reinforcements. Then, with the roar of engines and the crack of wind, the heavens open. From thousands of feet above, crates of supplies, vehicles, even entire rescue packages descend from the clouds. This is not science fiction. This is the United States Air Force in action, executing one of the most daring and precise feats in modern warfare, the airdrop. From humanitarian aid over disaster zones to resupplying special forces deep behind enemy lines, the U.S. Air Force has perfected the art of delivering the impossible. But how did they hit a target the size of a football field from miles above while moving at hundreds of miles per hour? Today, we go inside the aircraft, meet the crews, and uncover the science, strategy, and split-second decisions behind America's airborne lifeline. Every airdrop begins with a mission. It could be a desperate call for ammunition in the middle of combat. It could be a United Nations relief effort after a devastating earthquake. Or it could be a covert delivery to a classified location. In all cases, speed, precision, and secrecy are paramount. Before the first crate is even loaded, planners calculate the drop zone, wind conditions, altitude, and threat levels. In some operations, they must avoid radar detection. In others, they race against the clock before nightfall. For the U.S. Air Force, the challenge is always the same deliver critical cargo exactly where it's needed, without fail. The stars of the show? The aircraft. The C-130 Hercules, a rugged workhorse capable of landing on dirt runways and weaving through valleys. The C-17 Globemaster III, a strategic giant that can carry tanks, helicopters, or entire pallets of supplies. And the C-5 Galaxy, a behemoth for intercontinental deliveries. Each one is a flying warehouse with a back door that opens thousands of feet in the air. But it's not just the planes, it's the crews, pilots, loadmasters, navigators, each one trained to execute drops with pinpoint accuracy. One wrong calculation and a million-dollar mission can be lost. Not all airdrops are the same. In fact, the Air Force uses multiple methods depending on the mission. Low-velocity airdrop, gentle descent for fragile cargo like food or medical supplies, parachutes open immediately, letting the payload drift safely down. High-velocity airdrop, Smaller chutes that slow the fall just enough for control. Perfect for heavy, durable gear that must land quickly. Freefall airdrop. No parachute at all. Yes, sometimes they literally drop it. Used for materials that won't be damaged on impact. Low altitude parachute extraction, also called LAPES. The aircraft flies dangerously low yanking cargo out the back so it skids to a stop right at the target. A breathtaking maneuver that demands absolute precision. The drop is a ballet of engineering and timing. Inside the cargo hold, loadmasters strap pallets to rollers. They check parachute rigging, sometimes multiple chutes per load. The rear door opens, cold air blasts in. The loadmaster's voice crackles over the intercom. Two minutes to drop. The pilot lines up with the drop zone, sometimes using GPS, 
sometimes relying on pure visual cues. At the exact moment, marked down to fractions of a second, the cargo is released. Parachutes bloom against the sky, and the load begins its controlled descent. From above, it looks peaceful. On the ground, it's a lifeline. In war, airdrops can mean the difference between holding the line or losing it. In peace, they can be the first sign of hope after disaster strikes. From airlifting relief into Haiti after the 2010 earthquake to covertly resupplying forces in Afghanistan, the U.S. Air Force has proven that when roads are gone, runways destroyed, and danger everywhere, the sky remains open. It might look effortless, but each airdrop is the result of relentless training. Crews practice over and over, sometimes in simulators, sometimes over remote airfields, until they can perform in total darkness, in bad weather, and under enemy fire. The Air Force motto for drops is simple. Get it there no matter what. From war zones to disaster zones, the U.S. Air Force's airdrops represent more than just cargo. They are a promise that help is coming no matter the odds. A promise that someone, somewhere, is watching the skies, ready to deliver hope from thousands of feet above. Because when lives are on the line, the sky is never too far away.